Now let us understand what are the forces which are acting on any fluid element. So let us take an infinitesimal small fluid element and analyze that what are the forces acting on this fluid element. So if you take a very small fluid element and if you try to know that what are the forces acting on this fluid element, there are two forces. The first one is called the body force and the second is the surface force. Now what is body force? Body force is nothing but the distributed forces on this fluid element which acts on the entire volume of the body. So example of body force is the gravitational force or the force due to electricity or force due to magnetism. So this type of force will act on the entire volume of the body. And the example is the gravitational force, the electricity force. Now let us understand what is the surface force. The surface force comes into picture by the contact with the surroundings. So surface force is nothing but the contact force. So again, if you see the fluid element, this is the body force and basically the fluid element is subjected to gravity. So the body force is nothing but the weight of the fluid element. But when you see the surface force, the surface force will be due to the contact with the other bodies. That surface force can be in any direction. Now this surface force can be resolved into two components. One is parallel to the area and another one is perpendicular to the area. The surface force which is, suppose this is the contact area and the surface force which is perpendicular to the contact area is called the normal force and the surface force which is parallel to the contact area is called the tangential force. or shear force. Now this normal force or the tangential force when it is divided by the area over which they are acting then it gives rise to the normal stress and the shear stress. So what is normal stress? Is nothing but the normal force Fn upon the area and the shear stress is nothing but the shear force upon the area the shear stress. In this case, we have to particularly note that this area is nothing but tending to zero. This area is nothing but tending to zero. So we can take it like a limit. You can take a small force because it is a small element upon the area and this area, the limit of this area tends to zero. Similarly, if you take the shear force, again the limit area tends to zero and the shear force, this gives rise to shear stress. So when you talk about the fluid at rest, the sh we have understood that when the fluid is at rest, the shear force on the fluid is zero. Therefore, when the fluid is at rest, the only force, we can say the only surface force which acts on the fluid is nothing but the normal force. So that is what we have understood regarding the body forces and surface forces.